Hey guys, we're here with Ray Mason from uh, Baofeng Radios, and we're going to talk a little bit today about um, channels and sub-channels, eh Ray? Yeah, it uh, can be a little confusing for a lot of people. Uh, different companies use different names, like this is from BCA's webpage, they call them privacy codes. Uh, the official name is uh, uh, Continuous Tone Coded squelch system lots of words there so that's way too many <laughs> words for sledders and yeah that privacy code is easier but it's not privacy though so these are the codes here there's 38 different codes and they correspond to a frequency all these frequencies here are added to your voice transmission they're so low that you cannot hear them, but they are there. And we'll just go over uh, how it works here. So, so just before you get into it, what you know, the biggest thing with these radios, guys, is people think they're really complicated. But actually, the, the, the Bofeng radio is really simple, just as simple as any radio, at the very um, beginner level, which is what most of us want for sledding and just using the channels you want to be on there and talk to your friends and have good distance. However, you can, our number one question is, can they work with other radios? Can they work with sub channels? And people think that, you know, privacy channels are totally private, but they're not. And that's why we're showing you that you can also change it into frequency mode or change to these frequencies. So if someone in your group has a different radio and says, I'm on channel four, six, you can actually, there's an easy way to find that frequency because you can download this and then put that frequency in and it takes I don't know, a minute to do that. A minute to do, yeah. So we'll see if you've done it once or twice. It, it's pre pretty easy. So on on these, I program in a few uh, uh, channels with uh, 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 privacy codes. And one of them is BCCA, which corresponds to 420. And uh, on this radio here, this, uh, well, let's just change, well, let's just start to change it. So four, channel four is 462635. So we'll just enter that. Right now we have this in frequency mode. So we'll just show you how you change it to frequency mode. Normally it's in channel, channel mode. mode. To change it into frequency mode, you hold on menu key, turn it on. Frequency mode. And it'll say it's frequency mode. So we have that arrow down the on the B channel here. So we're just going to punch in four six two six three seven. Four six two six three three seven. Whoops. Let me do that again. Four six two six three seven. Now it says six three seven five. Since we entered the seven, you can see that very small number there that's the five you don't need to enter the the five now if we want to select the same code as this that is code 20 and it is this is the frequency 1318 so we if we push menu, menu. and normally i'll show the squelch level but if we type in 13 it'll go t for uh, transmit and that's the continuous tone code at squelch system and now we see some numbers here. We push menu again, menu. We, get, we get down to here, and we can just scroll up or down to the one we want. So let's go here, what was it? 20 is one, one three, three one eight. And then we hit menu again, yes, and it confirms it, and down we go. So now we want to talk here. Check, check, check. And you can see the green light showing up that uh, it's receiving. Okay. Now, on this one here. Frequency mode. I'm going to put in the same channel, but a different code. So we'll go four, four six, six, two, two six, six, three, three seven. seven. And Thank here you. we'll put in, uh, well, we'll just, uh, one, oh, we got what, 136. So that's uh, code 21. So we'll just leave it at that. CTCSF. And let's see what goes on here. Check, 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 check. Nothing else. So now you can 
Ray is transmitting on channel four, but because this, okay, okay. the sub-channel frequency, you can't hear him. Okay. But this green light signifies that he is transmitting. It's okay. just you can't hear it because they're different with the uh, sub-channel. Now let me transmit one with, with uh, no code and one with the code. Check, check, check. Check. It, it's not, not that clear, is it? Not that clear. It's, there's a lot more. Yeah, there's a feedback. Yeah, there's a bit of a feedback, yeah. So it shows you that the one that doesn't have the sub channel is still transmitting, and it's kind of getting in the way of the one that is um, that does have the sub channel. So the problem with that is when you're transmitting, it's like essentially you're talking over someone. Yeah, and that is that, that can definitely be a, an issue, especially if you're in a if far away where you're getting a lot of static to begin with. As, as it'll as get as worse. As, yeah, it'll get worse. So. so, so a lot of people think private channels are private. They're not. They're not. They're not. So because the, I have no channel on here, and this one has 420, and you can hear me just fine on that. Right. So the, the suggestion to people instead of like, you know, the common thing is people use channel 420 or 669 and um, really what they should be doing is going on to maybe a VHF channel, finding their own channel and then they're going to only be on that channel for the whole day. They're going to have the most power yeah. and they're not going to hear all these other people that yeah. you do with some of the simpler radios on the market. These have 128 programmable channels and if you put it in frequency mo mode it's basically unlimited so right you can do that another thing with the uh, bca channel 8 to uh 14 are only half watt so basically if you're using it for sledding you only have uh 15 uh channels that are really usable right and so you know the the, the biggest thing with these radios and what they've they allow you to do is be just as simple as any other radio on the market if you just want to use them with your buddies and just go to one channel and be done with it but you can uh we've we programmed them in the fsr road so if you're traveling on a logging road and they're logging you need to have a radio to call out up or down where you're going so you can do that then if you need a frequency and you need to find that or change it to a frequency that you want you can do that too you have to know a little bit more but it's really easy to do and i think that's the you know the number one thing we get is our, how complicated are these and of course like we're, we're sledders so we we deal with beacons and abbey packs and sleds and gas and oil and all this stuff the last thing we want to do is sit at the parking lot trying to work out figure out how to, to use it yeah radios work so the whole purpose of, of ray showing us this was a to show that privacy channels aren't private um, and that, that how they work and that that you can you can program them any channel into the to the radio pretty easily pretty easily Yeah, yeah awesome. Well, thanks Ray. Okay, and uh, again if you want to get uh, a radio make sure you just uh, PM me and we'll get one to you or to your buddies and uh, Yeah, well, we're gonna have a great season the snow up in the mountains, although you can't really see it today There's some fresh snow up there